Tonight, the viewing and rosary for Savannah Soto and her unborn son, Fabian. The 18-year-old was found dead the day after Christmas. News 4 San Antonio's Stephanie Esquivel. It is going to be so hard. A day full of overwhelming emotions. Most of Savannah Soto's family and friends seeing her for the first time. One month to the day after the medical examiner says the 18-year-old and her unborn son were killed. Savannah's body was found in a car alongside the body of her boyfriend, Matthew Guerra, the day after Christmas. Savannah was past due and was killed just two days before she was scheduled to be induced. It's been real, but not really into. I saw her today. And I know she's no longer going to be here with us. She'll be in a better place, but she will be missed very, very dearly. Savannah's paternal grandmother, Rachel, says the past month has been full of anguish and heartache. Finding Savannah's body in the same car as the body of her boyfriend, Matthew Guerra. The Soto family left wondering what the young couple's unborn son, Fabian, would have looked like until today. I saw him for the first and the last time, and I'll never see him again. He's with his mother where he should be, but other than that, I'll never see him grow up. Three arrests have been made in connection to the killings, and Rachel says that makes her feel one step closer to justice. But Rachel says she feels relief that Fabian and Savannah will finally get to rest. But at least we get to say goodbye to her tomorrow morning. And we will finally lay her to rest where she should have been a long time ago. The funeral and burial services are scheduled for tomorrow morning. You can find all that information on our website, news4sanantonio.com. In studio, Stephanie Esquivel, News 4. Ten minutes after 12 on this Monday, Savannah Soto and her unborn child are being laid to rest today. It was about a month ago, Soto and her boyfriend, Matthew Gatter, were murdered. The case made national headlines after their bodies were found the day after Christmas. Both shot to death. Gatter was laid to rest two weeks ago. Soto's funeral was delayed because of the weather. Now, the funeral was held this morning at the St. John the Evangelist Catholic Church. A committal service will be held at 1230. That's going to be a wildflower cemetery on Crevald Road.